Hey Keith, it's Taylor and Sarah here from Coaster Studios. Thanks for sending in your top 10 to us on Cameo. I'm excited to talk about your list because this is actually really interesting. Yeah, this has got quite the array of, of coasters on it. You know, a lot of times when we get lists, you see a lot of the same stuff on there. There's still Vengeance, Iron Claws, and Velocity. It's like, not a ton you can, you can't really tell someone those are any of them are bad. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, there are some things on here that I am questioning. Though. Yeah, yeah. So really super interesting. So I want to start with your number zero. Uh, first of all, I love that you included that because uh, a number zero is actually like a really cool m moment. It, it tells you a lot about a person. This, however, is an interesting one because this is new. most people have a sentimental attraction as their number zero. Like something that, you know, from like their childhood or like yeah. something that like, was a big turning point in their life or yeah. something. But you know? this just opened earlier this year. So, so can it really be that sentimental? Already? How is it your number zero? The only thing I could logically think of is if you are maybe a ride operator on Batman Gotham City Escape. Hmm. Like maybe it's your first coaster that you're like, Working? I don't know. Whenever you do, like, after you get this, whenever you can, like, leave a review, like, let us know, because I'm actually really yeah, curious. Yeah, because, like, what, what separates this as your number zero from just being a regular old, like, that's my number one, you know? So, I yeah, I, I'd love to hear about that. Uh, but, okay, so Zadra is your number one. Yeah. I ain't got beef with that. Zadra's pretty insane. I personally disagree that Hyperion is uh, the second best coaster at that park. But not as much as I disagree with the fact that you like Enso better than Hyperion. First of all, you don't even list it as Icon. You list it as Enso, the specific spinning seat. It doesn't even spin. Yeah. It that's like... That's... It, it rocks back and forth. Um, it can spin a lot. I mean, if you sit on one side, then you, know, you can get it going, but it's... I did, and I still didn't spin that much. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's a weight th distribution thing. Maybe it's like uh, how you throw your arms out or something. Um, I don't know. Enso is a, an interesting one to mm -hmm. put on here, to say the least. And then um, we go to Wonder Woman, Flight of Courage. And that's the one in Magic Mountain, right? Yes. I was, there's too many Wonder Woman, Flight of I know. There's Fear, Flight of Passion. I don't literally. Know. Um, anyway. <laughs> so, Wonder Woman Flight of Courage, a.k.a. Um, one of the weakest RMCs. But your favorite coaster at Magic Mountain. Yeah. Um, That's interesting. So, okay, so you've been to Magic Mountain. I don't see X2 on here. I don't even see Twisted Me. Colossus on here, which Me. is interesting. Yeah, I mean, okay, I really <laughs> like X2. But it's weird, right? It's usually, it's unusual it to usually, see Flight yeah. of Courage as the best ride at Magic Mountain. That's that is, definitely a hot take. That's different. Yeah. And then, um... Abysses. Now, Abysses. Here's the thing. That ride is, is fun, but it's got a lot of pointlessness to it in the first half. Like, it's yeah, really uh, kind of like, what am I doing? Until here? we get to the second launch, I can just get rid of everything, <laughs> like, prior to that. It's just like, okay, this is not, there's nothing really happening here. Like, I, I could see it being, like, as far as where you placed it in Energylandia, I get it. But in on this list, I don't think I agree with it. Like, I could put Shambhala. Oh, There's yeah. I'd put several of these rides over that. Um, what about Tatsu? Tatsu, I've definitely Tatsu. put over Abyssus. Okay. Um, Tatsu is insane. It um, is. Like, here's what's weird about Tatsu. Is most of the ride is, like, graceful, like you're flying around, and then it just tries to murder you <laughs> with the pretzel loop. So it's just like, whoa, where did that come from? Uh, Shambhala is awesome. I love Shambhala. Storm the Dragon Legend. Is that the That's new... That's Tucson Free. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that... so we saw that under construction. We've heard mixed... Things. Is I've heard, people have heard that I've heard that it's either like a shaky mess or I've heard it's like insanely awesome. Yeah, no I've in heard, between. I've heard that the airtime hill is like ridiculous, and I've heard that the it forces. I've heard that the forces on it are just really strong. Like it goes yeah. from really strong positives to really strong negatives. That's so weird. It's an invert. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, it seems like Gersla would just kind of like I don't know popped off a little. Yeah, I guess. Which is like totally su a surprise. Like, and what? then like full throttle and apocalypse. Like, okay, so we're back at Magic Mountain again. No X two or Twisted Colossus to be seen. Were they closed when you went? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> or the line was too long. I don't know. I don't know they, this is definitely an interesting list. I yeah, mean, clearly for sure. you've been to the UK, so I'm wondering like, did you do like Alton Towers or any of those? Other, like, UK parks, and you just... Maybe yeah, all the I rides at Magic Mountain are better. I don't know. Or did you not do not? I take or? Wicker Man over Apocalypse. Oh, yeah. So, okay. hey, I want to see how, uh, if you get on Hyperia, how that would oh. compare to uh, some of the other rides on your list. Hey, you know what? This was a fun list, though. This was a good time. This was a good time. Thanks for reaching out to us here on Cameo.